Not sure I can find a better camping spot than that. It was absolutely perfect. degrees and warming up. through Point Arena. And I'm 128 miles from San Francisco. Back on the coast, ocean right next to me, blue sky day, tailwind. I'm close to 20 miles for the day, real fast. Just slow rolling hills for the most part. As soon as I say it was more mostly flat ground, I come up on a nice hill here. About over 30 miles into my day, steady, winds is pushing me. I'm feeling really tired though. This is the seventh day in a row since I came back, starting at Crescent Beach. I need a, I need to rest my legs and my body. It's been a, a lot of climbing and a lot of doing for just jumping back on the bike. Anyways, just keep on cruising. <laughs> I kind of hit a wall today. It was uh, 40 miles and I kind of saw this place in the, in the path and I needed to take a break. Uh, I've been wet for several days, like my tent, my sleeping bag, and uh, my clothes, and give me a chance to uh, dry it up. Anyways, I'm gonna make some dinner in the motel and I'm gonna check out the sunset. The view is outstanding. It's like a million dollar view from here. Alrighty, another day, a long one I think. Should be 62 miles, 3,000 feet of climbing. That's how it goes, you go down and then you go up.
climb right here. How amazing was this? Insane climb to really high elevations there, relatively speaking. And there's more climbing to do. Water climb. I'm still going up. Such beautiful views too. Unreal. All right, I made it. This is the high spot. It's a downhill all the way. Unreal, how beautiful. Outstanding day with the cloudiness instead of getting blasted by the sun in front of me to the south. Couldn't be any better. Like the climbing, it's a nice drop, and then I start climbing again. That was the end of that coastline section. I think I'm going inland now. These crazy people are screaming around every turn while I'm going three miles an hour. Including truckers. But the way to do it is to go slow because I can't go fast. And then if I hear him, I just squish to the side of the road. Absolutely amazing. It's like more climbing. It's gonna be a 20 mile day just from all the climbing I'm doing. But I'm loving every second. It's just glorious. through the town of Jenner. I'm going 
gonna see if I can uh, stop here somewhere and take a little break. I'm about 20 miles in. I got about 40 to go. So I can't be uh, taking too long. That was a nice lunch, made some friends, feathered friends. I just checked out the surfing action. I thought it was gonna rain, but now it's not. So I'm just gonna keep on cruising down. It's only one o'clock even though it feels later. Going through Bodega Bay and it's really cool. I like this town. I mind spending some time here checking it out. I'm leaving Bodega Bay and now I'm turning eastward inland. I see in the map there's a turn away from the coast and then south and then back to the coast. 1500 more feet of climbing and I've done 1800. So I'm halfway through my day and it's 2 o'clock, so I gotta suck it up and get it done. What a hill. I'm almost there. I got the wind pushing me, which is nice. Nice drops too! Forge is out here. Just turn back to the west and I'll have a headwind coming out of the northwest. So it's sort of partial, but definitely in my face. And I should be climbing over these hills to the coast now. I'm pooped. Just crossed over 40 miles. It's been a lot of climbing, but it's sort of the norm on this route along the coast. That was a warning. Just gotta keep pressing on. What a hill. Holy smokes, <laughs> this is insane. Uh, I knew it was gonna be quite the day. That was no joke. I got an electrolyte up, which I never do, but I gotta do it. I bet there's more of these coming up to get to the coast. I see more mountains ahead. Those tamales. Now I got another 400 feet of climbing to get to the coast. A couple more hills, but I'm almost there. And then I can go downwind for 20 miles. One of the biggest struggles on this tour and the coast is that you're either wet and warm because you're wearing a, a lot of layers and you're sweating and being wet from the moist air or you're semi-dry, not dry and cold, which is what I am right now. It's a beautiful view right here. I'm gonna send the drone.
I'm destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. I just went over 50 miles, 3,000 feet of climbing, and I think I have another 12 miles to go. Yes, I'm in Marshall, getting through it, and I have flat ground ahead of me. Leaving Marshall, really cool little town there. All right, I made it to Point Reyes, 60 miles, destroyed. I could barely go up those hills. It was really tasking. I got two miles to get to this campground. I'm tired, but I think you guys already know that. What a brute of a day. I'm happy I did it though, because this sets me up to 30 miles to San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge. Another phenomenal day of bicycle touring. 62 miles over 3,000 feet of climbing insane scenery just to think of where I started in the morning and where I'm at right now uh, Olima Campground just south of Point Reyes. I'm destroyed. I was like gassed there at the end Like I just I was digging deep just going up every hill as slow as I could just trying to not hurt myself and uh, Doing what I could to get to where I'm at. It's really one of the hardest days. I've had this tour which has not been easy. This uh, Pacific Coast bike route is a butt kicker. <laughs> if you don't like climbing, this is not the the place to be. And I love to climb, but it, it really is testing. And it's also very rewarding. Like you, you get rewarded by all these downhills and a lot of speed all the time. So your ups and downs and the downs are fast because the hills are steep and the scenery, the ocean. Tomorrow is going to rain starting around 1 or 2, like heavy. So I need to make the 30 miles to a Holiday Inn right before the Golden Gate Bridge and wait for the rain to pass by so I can actually get through that and start heading south towards Los Angeles. That's going to be the next leg of the trip. I'm uh, a bit intimidated by going through the city and all that, but I think you guys know I really enjoy traffic and cityscapes too, so it'll be a great change of scenery. And uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. It should be interesting. The next few days are going to be crazy, I would say. Deciding uh, whether to go Sir Francis Drake with a thousand feet of climbing to get to the Golden Gate Bridge or nearby in 30 miles or keep going on one and then having close to 2,500 feet so double that of climbing and about the same amount of mileage so I'm thinking I'm gonna go the easy route because it's gonna rain today starting 11 to 1 o'clock in the afternoons I'm gonna miss one for now but uh, that's what I got Well, it's already raining, but I think it could just be a early morning mist. What a beautiful ride. I'm so glad I came this way. It's like being back in the redwoods. I had no idea it was gonna be this beautiful. Wow, what a morning. Every day I feel like it's gonna be some repetition of the day before and it never is. 
it's always something changes, something something surprises you. I'm kind of feeling it today. It feels nice. I'm close to 10 miles of 30. Just rode through Lagunitas. Smooth sailing. Nice descent. Coming into the town of Fairfax. I uh, had to get off that Drake, Francis Drake Avenue. It was getting super busy. Gonna have to be hyper aware here. It's busy. Never seen so many cyclists. From the very beginning of the day, there's just cyclists everywhere, especially now in the city, they're just at all over the place. Another bike path. What a blast to ride in cities that are well designated for cycling. I'm in the best mood right now, just thinking about yesterday and how much effort it took to get those 62 miles and over 3,000 feet of climbing so I could avoid being stuck far away from here. It was all a, a big timing thing. San Francisco, and I don't have a, any logistical distances to travel except maybe 10 15 miles just going to the city cycling in this city is like I've never seen before out of all the American cities I've visited by bike this is the most busiest I've seen it's quite a nice hill coming out of Sausalito now I'm gonna descend onto the Golden Gate Bridge. I saw it just now through a fence. form of motivation all the way from Washington State so it's kind of silly but I'm uh, really static to be here
Golden Gate Bridge experience. Wow. Out of blast. The view from this side is so much better with the light just blazing the orange. I'm pretty sure it's not just me, but this city is absolutely entertaining. Coming into Fisherman's Wharf. I just rode myself into a Veterans Day Parade. I think I'm getting a good sense of San Francisco coming in on a Sunday. Golden Gate Bridge, Veterans Parade, people everywhere. It's a what it's such a change. I'm starving and that's all I can think of. Well, all that did was make me hungrier. Man, is this a busy city. It is non-stop action everywhere. the city and checked out all these places and ate a lot and this yoga place right here is the warm showers the guy said Michael said to be here after 3 and it's 2 45 so I'm kind of just chilling here so maybe I can leave the bike and go walking around more. I don't know what I'm doing today I could stay a day in uh, San Francisco and go look at more stuff but I'm itchy to get back on the road too so I'm gonna eat some food and let the morning kind of develop and see what I'm gonna do. I'm hanging with John Marco and Mark and Alex and Lucy. We've been hanging out like uh, several nights once in the campground and uh, last night here at the yoga studio. I never. 
So this was in the tie. These four don't do anything unless they're all involved in the process. They set their tents up together. They do a flat together no matter whose it is. They're just always uh, doing it together. Oh, this one is bad. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so it was there. Did you find it? I think Alex and I always do it. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> we call each other resting and resting. You, you know, know what? You know resting. This is resting in French. Resting. It's the name of this. It's in French. Oh, the patch. Yeah, exactly. So we found them. So we. Uh, so we have so, we so have many of them on uh, each wheel. Yeah. Uh, uh, Taps. Yep. Pepas. Decided to stay with this crew and uh, check out the city. We're just gonna bike around and goof off. Having a ball hanging out with these really super cool people. with San Francisco is so amazing for cycling the energy of the city is really phenomenal I cannot wait to come back I gotta keep moving but someday I'll come back to San Francisco and and spend more time here <laughs> <laughs> 